Cryptocurrency is too complicated. Perhaps this is probably one of the most famous lines of people who don't have the full understanding of crypto. Of course, we cannot blame you if you feel that way. There are a lot of things you need to grasp before actually investing in cryptocurrency. Well guys, today we're going to dive into the basics of cryptocurrency at a beginner level. We will try to understand what crypto, blockchain, coins, tokens, and every single thing you need to know about crypto means. So stay tuned until the end of this video if you want to know what coins are better to invest in, how to invest them, and what strategy will make you earn money in the long run when it comes to cryptocurrency. Welcome to the Crypto Kings YouTube channel. On this channel, our team works tirelessly to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you're not gonna wanna miss any of the great content we have planned for you. Also, if this video is helpful to you at all, please like this video and leave a comment with what type of video you'd love to see next. All right, now let's dive into today's video. So what is cryptocurrency? This is probably the first question a total beginner who doesn't know anything about crypto would ask. Here's something you need to understand about cryptocurrency. It is almost the same as regular money. There's not much of a difference between regular money or fiat money to crypto. Except that when we talk about fiat money, you can actually touch it. It's physical money. Whereas cryptocurrency is in a digital aspect. That means it's stored in the network or the blockchain. Now you might wonder how cryptocurrencies have value unlike fiat money where it is backed by gold to have actual value. Now this is where the blockchain actually comes in. The blockchain is a shared database across multiple computers and networks where people store their cryptos. This blockchain then is what gives cryptocurrencies its value. Let's have this example for better understanding. Let's say you go shopping at a department store. You bought something and used your credit card in that transaction. Now when the store swipes your card, your bank will verify if you have that amount on your account and then proceed to give that amount to the store where you purchase the item. Now that's how regular money works. In a blockchain, when you send money to someone else, the money will go directly to the blockchain and to the person you're sending the money to. There will be no middleman. The blockchain will verify your transaction and will ensure you have the money to send to your recipient. Now guys, you might be concerned about its security, since everything is done digital. Well, no one can hack a blockchain because it's literally hundreds of thousands or millions of computers that constantly check and verify transactions, thus making sure that all copies of the database are the same. Next thing that probably confuses you are coins and tokens. So what's the difference between the two? At a basic level, we can say that all coins are tokens, but not all tokens are considered coins. Coins basically represent a cryptocurrency behind it. They are native to a blockchain and are used as a medium of exchange. Tokens on the other hand represent an asset or deed behind the actual token. And they use smart contracts for trading them. Guys, I want you to think of coins as the fiat money in the physical world, whereas tokens as digital assets under a particular object that are also used for digital payments and contracts. Examples of tokens are Tether, Uniswap, Polygon, among others. So which is better to invest in? Coins or tokens? Now that is the million dollar question. Typically coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin are better to invest in because they can't be hacked because they are built on a blockchain. Now we want to mention that rug pull is here because this is one of the famous token scams right now. Now, rug pull is basically when someone creates a token and creates a lot of hype around it and will make a lot of people invest in that token. What that token creator will do is then take all the money that people have invested and leave you with that money. Now, this is another reason why it's safer to invest in coins, but still it depends on if you want to invest in tokens. You just have to be careful and do your research in which tokens are better to invest in. There are a lot of tokens that fared well in 2021. Some of them are Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. These tokens created so much hype last year due to the reason that Elon Musk has tweeted about them a lot. And because of this hype, the prices of these tokens went up, thus making them much more valuable. Let us now move on to the question people ask so often. Which cryptocurrencies are safe to invest in? Here's the thing you guys, looking for cryptocurrencies that are safe to invest in is not rocket science. There are a lot of websites you can go to that will help you out. In fact, most financial institutions invest in crypto 
that has a higher market cap and websites like CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko actually show you the top 20 cryptocurrencies. Investing in these top cryptocurrencies is safer. Invest in high market caps. Nothing is safe when it comes to cryptocurrency. This is what you have to keep in mind. Cryptocurrencies are volatile. They move up and down quickly. And it can move as fast as 40% down or even 100% up. That is why it's safer to invest in high market cap coins in the marketplace. Now let's check on coin market cap. We can see here the top coins and how they are faring. Bitcoin here for example has a market cap of around $600 billion. That's how much people have invested in this coin. And from here to the bottom, you can consider these as your blue chips or your safer cryptocurrencies to invest in. Of course guys, you can always go down below the line and invest in a smaller market cap. Now what is the pro in this? Cryptos with smaller market caps have the potential to go up way higher and if this happens, you end up making much much more money. But it's always risky because you can end up losing a lot of money as well. So again, if you want to be safer, invest in coins with a higher market cap. Now when is the best time to invest in cryptocurrency? One of the biggest assumptions of people who are new to cryptocurrency is that they can get rich overnight. And guys, that is a big misconception. When investing in cryptocurrencies, you need to have a long-term mentality. Do not invest in bigger market cap just to get rich overnight. Now that is not how cryptocurrency works. Invest money you are willing to lose. This is a valuable lesson to those who want to start out in cryptocurrency. You are bound to lose money because cryptocurrency is volatile. One day you might see a coin go up and then the next day go really down. So don't jump ship on a coin just because it is big and when you see it go down you end up making the remainder of your money. You will definitely fail if you do this. We will share with you a strategy that has helped people earn money in the long run. People doing this strategy by letting software do all the work for you. This is called DCA or Dollar Cost Averaging. What you need to do here is look to invest in a cryptocurrency or a project that you believe in, regardless of if their value goes up or down. Once you've done that, set an amount of money every single day, week or month that you will put into that cryptocurrency and don't touch it. Just leave it be. Now another frequently asked question is how does Bitcoin gain its value? Well, unlike the fiat money where people keep printing money, Bitcoin has a finite amount of only 21 million coins. That will be the only coins produced in the cryptocurrency network. This is also the reason why Bitcoin price continues to go up. This is in contrast to the fiat money where money is printed, the lesser value it has. So we go to the last question, as a beginner in cryptocurrency. Which coins should you buy? This question always leads us to your preference, and that is why we tell you to do your own research. But as a recommendation, you go for the higher cap coins because it is much safer. But if you really are a risk taker, then you just have the extra money, then go for smaller cap coins. Again, it really depends on you. But as a beginner, we always recommend checking the top 10 or top 20 coins on sites like CoinGecko. You can also check the team behind the coins and its utility. Finally, if you believe in a coin, go ahead and invest in it, no matter how its value moves. Do your own research and think long term. And that's it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the Crypto Kings and don't forget to ring that notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for our next video, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who support our channel, and we will see you again very soon in our next video.